Hey everyone, it has been a while since I have filmed a dream vlog. I believe this is the third one in my series. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so, last night I watched the season premiere of the Ghost Adventures Aftershocks with Zach Bagans. I mean, he wasn't with me. I mean, I wish he was, but he wasn't. Anyways, I went to bed after that, and I had the strangest dream. It was like a combo of two or three dreams. I don't know. It was really weird. So, the first part of my dream, I dreamt that I was with Zach Bagans and Aaron Goodwin, and I was trying to convince Zach that we should investigate... Pompeii and the Roman Colosseum. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but they did investigate Paviglia Island in Italy and supposedly something from there followed him home and won't leave him alone. Like, he literally can't have anyone come over without them getting attacked. I mean, I don't know, but... um. So he really didn't want to go, and we were, like, I think we were in Malaysia or something, like, Malaysia or somewhere, somewhere with jungle, and I kept telling him that nothing bad was going to happen, that I was going to be there with him, and nothing bad would follow him home, and that it would get a lot of views if we investigated Pompeii because I don't think anyone has ever investigated there. But it would be really interesting, you know? And he's like, well, we can't speak that language. And I said, well, I can speak Italian. And it's true, I can. I've been taking Italian since seventh grade. And this is my this is my fifth year, and I'm taking college Italian right now. And then I'll be taking another CCC Italian. Ugh. College Italian next year and I'm also planning on taking it in college but yeah so he finally agreed and <laughs> I went with them to investigate but we didn't go to Pompeii we went to the Colosseum first and he was like smiling at me and he was like really happy that he decided to investigate the Colosseum and then things got weird like, it shifted from that, like, that was a good dream. Like, I typically don't have, like, I have, okay, this is hard to explain, but I either have really good dreams, nightmares, or the weird kind of good dreams. Like, I haven't really had, like, a nightmare, so to speak, like, for a long time. Like, I think the last time, I mean, I'm not going to count my tarantula dream as a nightmare because I had a really nice ending, but I think when I was in fourth grade, I had a dream that my dad said that he didn't love me and didn't want me and I woke up crying but if I don't count that one then it was like when I was in second grade but yeah um so anyways okay somehow I ended up in my house and I was walking but it was like only the front part of my house existed, and, like, the rest was just, like, a mine. It was weird. It was, like, dirt, basically. So I walk into my front living room, which is where I am right now, because I don't normally film in here. I normally film either in the dining room or up in my room, but my room is a disaster, and I don't have any time to, like, sit down and organize everything until spring break and even then I'm going to be busy but um so I'm going to turn the camera and show you 
wish you would see it. I was looking out of that window, and I was looking like straight down at the ground, and there was like a humongous pile of orange empty pill bottles. And I couldn't understand what it meant, but it felt so real. Like, it literally felt like I was looking outside, like, it felt like I was awake doing this. But I wasn't. Like, there's nothing outside of there except for snow. But it was weird. And I have no idea what it means. I don't know. <laughs> it was just, like, a combination of good and weird and good weird and it was just crazy. I don't, I have, I, I, I don't know. And then like, like a week ago, I believe it was, I had the strangest dream that I was incarcerated with Scar from Lion King and he was trying to get me to kill somebody. And I think that I fell in love with Scar. <laughs> Bestiality going on here, but it was it was just bizarre. I've been having bizarre dreams lately, and I have no idea why. I normally don't have dreams that I can remember. Normally, I see the back of my eyelids and just like thoughts go through my head, like people talking. Kind of, like, like the audio of a dream. No visual, just audio. That's typically what I'd have, like, normally. Yeah. Um, have you guys had any weird or crazy dreams lately? If so, comment down below and let me know what they are. Or you can do a video response and... Um, put the link down in the comments if you would like for me to see it. If you liked this video and would like more, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Unfortunately, I don't have set dates for when I film my dream vlogs. It's normally whenever I have time or I can remember what I dreamt about. And I'm really sorry about that, but... I'm just going through so much right now because I literally have a year and a half to plan for when I go to college. Fortunately, I c I'm getting on the right track, so I'm, it's easier right now, but still under a lot of stress because I have to survive this year of school, and there are just days when I feel like I won't. But, no, I can't give up hope, and if you're going through the same thing with school, man, just know that I feel your struggle. I know what you're going through. Enough of this weirdness. Um, thanks for watching. I will see you guys as soon as I possibly can film again. Um, stay weird and grotesque. I need to come up with like a sign off. Because I normally just say the same thing. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. That's boring, you know what I'm saying? Anyways. Or I do something weird with my hand, like a dinosaur. Bye.